Everyone somehow associates a USB-C with Android and therefore Apple must hate it. But what if I said that Apple actually helped to develop USB-C? Yeah, because without Apple, Android phones might still be using the god-awful micro USB standard. But let's go back to 2015. At this point, Apple had transitioned to the reversible lightning connector, which was so much better than their previous 30-pin cable. They had also just announced the iPad Pro with USB 3 speed Lightning, and they had also just announced the 12 inch MacBook that was the first mainstream device to use USB C apart from the Nokia One tablet. Apple knew this port was going to be the future, and they believed in it so much that the 12 inch MacBook was a computer that had only one digital port the USB-C port. John Gruber on the talk show mentioned that he was informed that USB-C was an Apple invention and they gave it to the standard body so that it could become a standard. And this was after Apple desperately tried but failed to make Firewire and Thunderbolt standards in the decade prior. And while it is impossible to prove this, what we can confirm from official documents at least is that 18 of the 79 engineers who worked on the project were from Apple with other companies including Intel, HP, Dell and even Foxconn. But what is clear is that without Apple's initial push by forcing everyone to use USB-C on their MacBooks, we might still be stuck with USB-A and micro USB today. USB-A was also struggling until Apple adopted it on the first iMac, and the same could be said with the MacBook, then MacBook Pro switching completely to the standard. Because typically standards only become standards when Apple adopts them. Wireless charging for example, nobody really used it apart from a few Palm loyalists and maybe a few Lumia users until Apple adopted it on the iPhone 10. And while it does appear that Apple never intended to use it on their mobile products until the EU stepped in, it is because of Apple that USB-C is the USB-C that we know today.